the High Grand Champions in Indian Wells for the Child Help Celebrity Golf Tournament hosted by none other than John O'Hurley and the gorgeous Cheryl Ladd. And we have our very own Sandy Newton, who was out on the golf course today, and she's going to let us know how all the celebrities did. So stay tuned for all of that on this week's Hello Paradise. <laughs> Here we are at the gala for the Child Help Celebrity Golf Tournament. We're here with one of the hosts of the event, the very handsome John O'Hurley. Thank you, my darling. What a wonderful philanthropy to be involved with. Well, it is, I tell you. Uh, my wife and I have a very healthy five-year-old, and uh, this is our way of, of, of embracing uh, all that we've been given and said that, you know, thank you so much for uh, because there are so many kids that don't have parents that uh, applaud them every day, embrace them every day, and, uh, you know, this this is a group that really gathers around the, the, the kids that are, if, if not for this group, these are the kids that are sent off and there's no return for them. And while everybody's eating and enjoying the live music, let's check in with Sandy Newton, see how everybody did today earlier on the golf course. Hey, thanks, Joni. That's right. Well, as you said, we are at the very exclusive Indian Wells Golf Resort here in Indian Wells, and we're at the IW Club, where once again they are getting ready for the second annual Golf Invitational for Child Health. It is a very worthy cause, and a lot of great money is raised during this three-day tournament. So with all the celebrities just about ready to tee up, without further ado, let's head out to that first tee. We're here with one of the stars, Cheryl Ladd. Hey, Cheryl, thanks so much for talking to us. I was surprised this is the second annual. This is so well run and so well organized. Oh, thank you. Well, we have Ken Risotto who's, who's put this together this year for us, and it's just bigger than we were hoping for. I mean, last year it was our shakedown cruise, and it went well, and we were all very encouraged, but this year it's even better. Well, I have to say, I just watched you tee off, and hey, you have got a beautiful swing. <laughs> Thank you. Occasionally, I, you know, I just tell myself, you're an actress, act like a golfer. <laughs> With Bill Smitrovich, so nice to see Very you, nice Bill. Very nice to see you. On well the, done on the pronunciation. Well, I told you I have a little inside track on that, yes, having uh, shared a little of the same heritage with you. So happy about that, and happy to see that you parred 15. Yeah, well, we would have liked to have birdied, but my partners, you know, they're not very good. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was going to say. Here? <laughs> So I know you've won tournaments before, but you, boy, I tell you, you sure can't complain about this beautiful Indian Wells course on today. It is beautiful. Spectacular. I, I mean, I played this side before, but I haven't played the new, it's spectacular. It really is. And you know, the most beautiful thing I've seen is in the clubhouse, those rocks, the yes. statues. Gorgeous. Yeah, they the did rocks. A job. Oh, yeah. I have to find out how to, how to get my hands on one of those. <laughs> the design, awesome. beautiful. And Plus, we're doing a good thing for child, child yes. help, yes. and uh, I think it's going to be very successful yeah. all together. It already, it already is. A lot of people there last it night. It already is, costs yes. Costs a lot of money, costs big dough. Costs big, big dough, dough. Yeah. So yeah. They, they're, doing, they're doing fine. I think they're yeah. going to be all right. Yeah. Yeah. So I understand you actually birdied. Just now, we missed it. Yeah, a birdie is what? When you're uh, over par or under par? <laughs> hey, my no, I friend. Did. I, birdied, I birdied a hole. It'll probably be the only one I do. <laughs> I, I ingratiated myself to my team, and now they're going to be cursing me the rest of the way because I'll revert to my usual self. Baseball legend Steve Garvey. And Thanks. talking about golf, how's the game going? Good. Great day with uh, some great people. Lovely ladies with us today. Nice. Uh, and just having a great time for a great cause. You well, know. I know you call the desert home, too, and you can't really complain about Indian Wells in this spectacular course. Another rough day here in the <laughs> desert. 
Patrick Dempsey, who is not only a celebrity, of course, playing in the tournament, but you are a world champion long drive hitter. That is correct. <laughs> Three times, I'm, I'm proud to say, and it's, it's such a thrill. It's my first time out here to uh, help out with uh, the organization, and I'm thrilled to be here. We're going to hit some big balls today and have fun with the people coming through, and it's, it's uh, the greatest cause in the world. So, uh, And for a long drive guy to be able to come out there with a bucket full of golf balls, an audience, and a fairway, and I get to hit balls for two days, it's a heaven. We're on the 14th hole with Ed Marinara. Hey, Ed. How are you? Welcome to Child Help's really beautiful afternoon. Could you have a more perfect day or a more beautiful course? No, this is great. It's a beautiful day. I'm playing with some great guys, and we're actually... Uh, we've Birdied every hole. No, wait a minute. Are you because we haven't been around here to film it? Is that true? Well, would I lie to you? <laughs> and we're here with John Callahan, who we're happy to see alive because we understand there was a demise on all my children, right? <laughs> yes, the whole show is now dead. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is very sad. But great to see you out here in the course. And tell me, I understand we missed it. I'm sorry. There was a great hole we missed. Well, had you been here five minutes ago, I, I, I pretty much drove this green, and I don't have wow. to. Yeah. I, it was it was a par four too, so I'm very very pleased with that. That is, you know what? And you would have thought we could have gotten that on camera, darn it. Yeah, but now you're just gonna have to believe me, and there's nobody <laughs> here to say no. Well, that is true. And I'm curious as to how your group is playing because I'm telling you, not a lot of folks are being honest with us. Actually, <laughs> when I when I just play golf and I'm one or two under par, that's a miracle right nice. there. Uh, one or two under par in a, in a tournament like this is generally not enough, but yeah. it's fun to be out on this beautiful day here. There's no place prettier in the world. In fact, I want somebody to give me a house here. <laughs> I, I don't want to buy one, but I want to be given a house here. This is the most beautiful place on earth right here. And I'm driving the ball pretty good. The irons aren't that great, but I got a lady that's on fire. She's made like five in a row or something. So what turned out to be a very slow start now has picked up and I think we're six, five or six or seven under. I don't know, it's pretty good. We are here at a very nice hole with Mr. Tom Flores. I want to say I saw you doing some very impressive putting, hitting, and you look pretty good out here. Well, I look pretty good until I got on the course. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, you know, against the air, it's always easier. But once you get the course, the course seems to get smaller and the ball gets smaller and all of the above. Well, you know, they say, though, once an athlete, always an athlete. And I think I've noticed that with those of you who have played professionally and coached. You really do have maybe the eye of the tiger always? Well, we're always competitive. Yes. Uh, it doesn't matter what level, but we're competitive and uh, we do the best we can.